Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are gonna see integer and float field. Okay, both are gonna be same, so I am covering it in a same video. Alright, see, we already have created the integer field in our database. Okay, this is the employee salary field. Okay, so here, let's expand this one. Now, what are the properties which are gonna include in this integer field? The first one is minimum value, second is maximum value, third is required, fourth is widgets, fifth is label, sixth is initial value, and seventh is help text. Okay, see, first of all, let us understand why do we use integer field? Okay. Integer field is basically used when you need to write whole number. Okay, the number with decimal point is known as float value. All right, so at that time we basically use this type of field, which is integer. This can be either in a negative or a positive form. Okay, float can also be in a negative or in a positive form, but with a decimal value. All right, so whenever you try to write the value without decimal point in the float field it will automatically add point zero at the end of the digit okay so let's start with minimum value <laughs> so here i can say min value equals to let's say one or zero then the maximum value which i will allow To enter in this field is gonna be 105 Oops, 5 what I'm doing yeah 5 I'll just write comma over here then let's say I'm gonna write required field equals to false or true whatever you wanna write it's your choice then we have widgets so widget is gonna be the same okay let me just copy and paste the only change which it is, which we are gonna do is this one instead of this text input we are gonna say number input okay because we are writing numbers in this field in this field that's why it is gonna be number field and the class is gonna be same now here in this attribute in this attribute dictionary you can write any parameter which a particular input tag provides even you can write here type and you can say number okay you can do whatever you want okay so i'll just remove this one you can you can pass id over here i can say id and here i can say emp salary okay just don't forget to add comma at the end then after widgets we have label equals to employee salary then we have initial let's say i wanna start i wanna give initial value of zero okay then last is help underscore text and this is gonna be please enter enter the employee salary okay that's it now if I save this and run the server and open this here go to employee then you can see we have applied the class of number and here you can see this up down arrow key right the maximum value which we are allowing is sorry the minimum value which we are allowing is zero over here that's why it is not going in a negative but if i let's say remove this one refresh and try to go minus then you can see we can also do 
in a negative form but you need to remove this minimum value all right so i'll just uncomment this one come over here refresh and it should not go in minus because we have set this to zero okay now if i write 104 and try to increase then you can see it is increasing only one because the maximum limit is 105 okay and here you can see this we can't do it okay and if i write 115 and if i submit then it will not submit because see the value must be less than or equal to 5 right so this is how this particular parameters work and if i go ahead and inspect this one you can see the id is now emp underscore salary the type is number okay but what if i remove this id and type refresh you can see it allocated the type automatically which is number and it also allocated the id automatically with id underscore emp underscore salary so if you want to customize the id or a type of the particular field you can pass the in particular value here in the dictionary form and it will automatically render those into html language and render it okay so this was the integer field now let's talk about float field see for that i need to create one another field in the model so i'll just go to models.py and here i can say em employee score okay now employee score can be in a decimal point it depends okay it can be in a decimal point or it cannot be in a decimal point it's up to you what the score whatever the score you are trying to give or provide to the particular employee <coughs> but the score scale will be from 0 to 10.0 okay so here i can say models dot float build and that's it i just copy and paste that over here and here this field can be null i'll say true and this field can be blank i'll say true okay because we are gonna create this form very big and i don't want every field to be compulsorily filled because it would be very hard to try okay so i'll just leave this as it is but change the value to true okay once this is done break the server clear the terminal and i'll say python manage dot py make migrations and i'll say python manage dot py migrate once this is done i'll say run server okay cool now once we have did this we need to go to the forms.py now here we need to add that particular field give equal to sign and here the form is going to be same but i'll just remove this one and instead of this integer field i'll say float field okay once this is done copy this variable go to views.py because we need to save this particular uh, field when, when we click on submit button right so here we can say score equals to form dot clean underscore data and i'll pass this one now here i can say emp underscore score equals to four okay once this is done we are ready to apply these changes in the template now just run the server okay it's already running i'll just click it 
let's go to employee and we have one another field okay for now let me do one thing let's go to forms.py i'll just remove this help text we don't need this one because it is messing the things it's not actually structuring properly and you can see the help text and the field name both are together i don't want that i'll just refresh now it's perfect okay see um float field right yeah so if i try to submit data has been saved now let me go to admin panel employee or object you can see the data has been saved according to the float value 8.0 okay let me go back okay now i'll just copy these all those things and paste that one over here okay now here in the minimum value we can say 1.0.0 .0. Okay, then we can say 5.0, sorry, 105.0, one and here we can say 0, 0.0. That's it. Everything is gonna be same. Okay, let me go to the home, not home employee. I'll just give empty to. Okay. I'm just basically giving top margin margin top sorry now let's say I want to allow the maximum score to 10.0 not more than that so let me write 11.1 or 10.1 and if I write salary this much and submit you can see this is not this is not gonna be more than 105 so i can say 100 and if i click on submit it has been submitted okay so it will not allow 11 yeah. submit okay yeah so it will not allow you to increase your value from 10.9 okay i mean from 10 it will not allow you to enter the score 11 okay so i hope you got idea about float field so yeah this was the agenda of this particular video so we understood the integer field and float field and its properties okay so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one thank you